10 Fascinating Facts of Princess Victoria of Saxe Coburg, Queen Victoria's Mother. Princess Victoria hailed from an affluent lineage. Victoria was a German noblewoman born into the esteemed aristocratic family of Saxe Coburg, Saalfeld, within the Holy Roman Empire of the German nation. Her parents were Franz Frederick Anton, Duke of Saxe Coburg, Saalfeld, and Countess Augusta of Rus Eppersdorf. Among her siblings were Ernest I, Duke of Saxe Coburg, Gotha, and Leopold, who would later become the future King of Belgium after his marriage in 1816. Princess Victoria tied the knot at a tender age. Victoria entered into wedlock at a mere 17 years old. She became the second wife of Charles, Prince of Lenigan, who happened to be 23 years her senior. The couple bore two children, Prince Carl, born in 1804, and Princess Theodora of Lenigan, born in 1807. Victoria would go on to be a direct ancestor to several European royals, including Carl Gustav of Sweden, Philippe VI of Spain and Constantine II of Greece. This lineage was made possible through her first marriage. She assumed the title of Duchess of Kent and Strathairn. Prince Edward, Duke of Kent and Strathairn, was one of the sons of George III who sought a marital union. He proposed to Victoria and they exchanged vows in 1818. They held a secondary marriage ceremony on the 13th of July 1818 at Kew Palace in the presence of Edward's ailing mother, Queen Charlotte. Princess Victoria birthed the renowned Queen Victoria. Following their marriage, the Duke and Victoria relocated to Germany. However, upon learning of Victoria's pregnancy, they decided to return to England for the birth of their child. They settled in Kensington Palace, where the Duchess gave birth to a daughter in 1819. The newborn princess was christened Princess Alexandrina Victoria, and she would later ascend to the throne as Queen Victoria. Duchess Victoria implemented the Kensington method to raise her daughter. The Duchess of Kent, Victoria, devised the rigorous Kensington method to govern her daughter's upbringing. This system was characterised by strict and intricate rules meticulously crafted by Victoria herself. The Duchess, being excessively protective, raised Victoria in a highly sheltered environment, isolating her from other children. The system also barred the princess from interacting with individuals deemed undesirable by her mother, including a significant portion of her father's family. Victoria, the daughter of the Duchess of Kent, held the third spot in line of succession, following her uncles Frederick, Duke of York, and William, Duke of Clarence. Victoria chose to remain in England rather than return to her native Germany to facilitate her eventual ascent to the throne. The young Victoria assumed the throne at the tender age of 18. The Duchess and her daughter reconciled after the princess's birth. In 1840, the Queen married her first cousin, Prince Albert of Saxe Coburg and Gotha. This marriage led to the reconciliation between Victoria, the Duchess, and her daughter, the Queen. The birth of the Princess Royal, their first child, played a pivotal role in bringing them closer together, mainly due to Prince Albert's persuasive efforts. The Duchess became an affectionate grandmother, nurturing a much stronger bond with her daughter, the Queen. The Duchess endured two tragic events during her marriage. Victoria was wedded to Charles, the Prince of Lenigan, as his second wife following the passing of his first wife, Countess Henrietta of Rosebensdorf, who also happened to be Victoria's aunt. Victoria assumed the regency of Principality of Lenigan during the minority of their son, an unfortunate circumstance brought about by the death of her first spouse. In 1820, Victoria faced yet another tragedy as she became a widow. The Duke of Kent, Prince Edward, succumbed to pneumonia just six days before the passing of his father, King George III. Princess Victoria of Saxe Coburg found herself entangled in a royal feud. John Conroy enjoyed an exceedingly close relationship with the Duchess, serving as her comptroller and private secretary for a span of 19 years. In addition to these official roles, he assumed unofficial positions as a public relations officer, 
counsellor, confidant and political agent. The association between Princess Victoria and John Conroy became a source of unpopularity within the royal family. A hostile atmosphere emerged, fuelled by rumours in 1829 that suggested an illicit romantic involvement between Princess Victoria and the Duke of Cumberland, aimed at discrediting them. Speculations of Princess Victoria's romantic entanglements have emerged. Some historians have put forth arguments suggesting that Princess Victoria's biological father may not have been the Duke of Kent. They base this claim on the prevalence of haemophilia among the descendants of Queen Victoria within the British royal family. However, such theories lack concrete evidence, as there is no record of haemophilia appearing in either the Duke or Duchess's family. The occurrence of haemophilia would require either the Duchess's lover to be a haemophiliac, which was highly unlikely given the limited medical knowledge of the time, or for the Duchess herself to be a carrier of the condition. Since haemophilia was an X-linked disorder, it would be necessary for the Duchess's mother to be a carrier. No substantial evidence has emerged to support this theory, and haemophilia often occurs spontaneously through genetic mutation even in families with no prior history of the condition.